Minister for Communications, Mrs. Ursula Owusu-Ekufu. Um, we have the Ghana uh, Interbank uh, Payment and Settlement System. Gibbs is here. GCB is here. Fidelity is here. Um, and we are here to formally outdoor the Ghana Quick Response Code System or the QR Code as is known for short, quick response. It's a very, very historic day uh, because um, the, we are solving a major problem here in Ghana. And it is historic because Ghana will be the first country in Africa to launch a quick response code payment system. And not only are we the first country in Africa, we are also, as far as I'm aware, the third country in the world to do a universal quick response code after Singapore and India. And however, Singapore and India, their QR codes only cater for bank customers. Ghana's QR code will cater for both bank and non-bank customers. That is the mo those who use mobile money as well as have bank accounts. So in this regard, Ghana's QR code is unique and is the first of its kind in the world. You know, and so we have to be rightfully proud as Ghanaians that we are using technology to solve a problem uh, that exists in our, in our society. But in doing so, we are really leading the world in this in this in this manner we are leading the world and so i am very proud here and it has taken collaborative effort we just didn't wake up and find the qr coding universal qr code in ghana the ministry of communications has been critical the bank of ghana gips the banks the telcos the fintechs these this uh, this is what is so unique about the ghana story it's very, very unique that we have had collaboration from all these stakeholders and we've been able to actually come up with this universal QR code. And what does it do? The QR code essentially allows merchants or all people who receive payments to receive the payments on their mobile phone. So if you go, you can pay using your mobile phone, the merchant can receive the payment using their mobile phone instantly, right? So you, 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 you scan the QR code and then you can confirm that yes, this is the merchant and I'm paying this amount to, to the merchant. So it's, it's, it's very secure in that, in that yes. regard and it's very convenient. But we are solving a problem. We are solving a problem that has been with us practically since independence. We are a cash-based economy. 
And in a cash-based economy, uh, it's a very inefficient economy. And we are cash-based because so many people are excluded from the financial system. So we do a lot of transactions with cash, which means robberies can take place as people carry cash around. In this COVID environment, in fact, one of the ways you transmit the virus is by handling things cash. like cash. Basically. You know, so e-commerce too doesn't develop if you have a cash-based economy. So we have been thinking since we've been in office of having how do we solve this problem? How do we move Ghana from this cash-based economy to an electronic payments-based economy? We have attacked this problem in two ways. First of all, we've implemented mobile money interoperability. And mobile money interoperability, as I said, is the first of its kind that we've implemented. So you have interoperability between bank accounts, the mobile wallets, mobile wallets and the e-switch accounts. No other country in has been able to do this, in the world, has been able to do this. And then beyond this, we've, had to in we've brought in the QR code which is riding on the real, real-time rails that we have with the mobile money interoperability and the Ghana Instant Pay uh, system, the yeah, Gibson Instant Pay. So we are solving this problem, saying that, okay, if you are a merchant, any type of merchant, or even if you are a shoe shine boy or a trotro operator, one of the problems with going electronic is that the infrastructure, most merchants don't have or cannot afford the point of sale device. The point of sale device is very expensive for small merchants to maintain. You know, you pay fees and so on. And it's very cumbersome. So if you're a small merchant, the QR code for all merchants means all payments go directly into your bank account or into your mobile wallet, right? right there you know so you don't need to be to be carrying that that cash and for anybody who uses the P qr code to make a payment it's free <laughs> you don't pay any fee right it's, it's free the merchant is also not charged any fee and anybody can set up a qr code for just around 50 pesos right if you're a merchant and you need a qr code you can talk to your provider who be in the bank the telco or whatever for just around 50 pesos you can set it up so if you are a white seller or your cocoa seller trot row you are a church or you are a mosque you are a school or a utility provider you can have a qr code a shoe shine boy you can have a qr code uh, if you are organizing a funeral and you want to get donations electronically you can put the qr code on the funeral invitation or the brochure and people can just scan it and pay donations straight to you you don't need uh, to carry bankers uh, <laughs> to your to your funeral to collect cash <laughs> right so you you can just use a qr code on your brochure and then pay and everybody will receive the donation they will know who it's coming from and they will announce it immediately at the funeral so they, it's so versatile uh, available for everybody to use uh, as I said, it's, it's free and we're going to encourage all merchants, all merchants to request a QR code, either from their bank, from the mobile company or from the fintechs, you know. And Ghana, as I said, we are unique because we are, it's an inclusive model that we are Im implementing. Ah, okay, this is the GCB one. Yeah, the QR code. Right. It's an inclusive model that we are implementing. We are not excluding people who don't have bank accounts. If you have a mobile money account, it's like a bank account. The fintechs can also enable you to make payments. So we are bringing everybody in. This is the only country in the world, as far as I'm aware of, that is doing this. And it's really going to make a big, big difference and allow everybody to do it. India. Singapore have universal QR codes, but they only cater to the bank customers. And Ghana is, is unique. And, and so I'm very proud today of our country uh, leading the world in this technology, in the application of this technology. Uh, and, and that is going to make a very big difference. So I expect as we 
roll out in the markets, in Makola, in the shops, in the trotros, in the taxis, in, in, in all these places, as we roll out, then we are going to see a major um, change in, 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 in Ghana. I see it as very, very transformational. And we have 13 banks that have gone live on the QR, universal QR code. Uh, you have banks like Fidelity, uh, you have GCB, you have Ecobank, CBG, ADB, UMB, as he says. So many, 13 banks, right? And the others are in the process. Uh, Barclays should be going live if it has. <laughs> Absa, yes. Now they, 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 I've been corrected. You know, I've been corrected. It's, it's, it's sort of a program since I was a kid. That is Barclays, but it's now Absa. Uh, Absa is virtually there. I looked at their system, uh, excellent system. Fidelity is there. ADB, Ecobank, UMB, CBG. The, the the banks are all there, so you can ask any of them. The, um, telcos are also live, Vodafone, Airtel, Tigo are live on this system. Uh, MTN is also about to go live uh, on the system. So we are, we are really... G-Money. G-Money is here. <laughs> you know, so we are really almost there. There's, it's a collaborative effort. I'm so proud of our financial institutions. They are working together the fintechs, the telcos, and, and so we, are, we, are, we have something to be proud of in Ghana. This is the first country in the world that we are doing this, universal QR code that is accommodating the non-bank users as well as the bank users. And so I expect big things for Ghana going forward, and, and we are riding on the rails of the mobile money interoperability that we have, we've implemented to do this. So I think that everybody should look to how they can use the QR code, download whatever applications. But what is important is that even if you don't have a smartphone, you can use this system. It works with the YAM phones as well. You say USSD code, and then you will dial the USSD code, and then you will just add, add, add whatever terminal number it is, and then execute the transaction. So it works both for the smartphones the smartphones you just scan and confirm the amount and 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 you pay right and that's it they, they, without, without that, but you can also use the yam yeah. phones to to make payment it's very easy and it's free all right so so everybody should 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 get their their application uh downloaded on their phone from their banks and their telcos from their fintechs the merchants please ask your fintechs and your banks and your telcos to give you a QR code. They'll just come and put it there for you and we will use. So this is a historic day for Ghana. Uh, and, and I want to thank the Minister for Communications, without whom we will not be able to do all of these things that we are doing. She's leading the digitization effort. And we are very, very happy. The Bank of Ghana uh, has done a stellar job, Gibbs, and, and, and the banks and the fintechs. So it's a really collaborative effort. And it says a lot about Ghana uh, that we have been able to collaborate. It's not, it doesn't happen in many countries. And in fact, it's not a coincidence that in many, many countries, they've not been able to do this because they are all competing amongst each other. But Ghana, we've been able to get a collaboration amongst all the parties. So I thank you. Uh, what we will now do um, is to um, try and buy some wachi <laughs> <laughs> using the universal QR code. I'd like to thank uh, Fidelity uh, for, for setting me up. I'd like to thank APSA. APSA is, is, I've looked at their system also, uh, excellent, uh, they, they've also set me up, uh, so I'm re able to use either, two, two, have two. Two, I have, yes, two uh, yes, I have two options, uh, GCB is here, G-Money, uh, and GCB acquired Antimony. So they acquired Antimony, uh, and I'm asking every bank to go and acquire everybody, right? <laughs> don't, don't wait. And all the telcos and all the fintechs. GCB acquired, it's a collaborative effort, but it's universal. And that's what universal means. Even if GCB is the acquirer and you are an, an, an APSA customer or a Fidelity customer, you can use the whole 
thing. It's universal. In many other countries, it isn't the case. It's one or it's in silos. If you are not an EcoBank customer and the merchant is EcoBank, you cannot use it. That is. But we decided to go on a completely different model, and that is the universal. And so I really want to thank everybody. The cooperation has been fantastic. It's been excellent. And Ghana, we should be proud. This is a game changer in many ways. We're going to be moving this economy towards a very cash light economy. Because if you are a merchant and you're going from Wa to Tamale or Accra to buy goods, with the QR code, you don't need to carry the cash so that armed robbers will come in and, and stop and, and rob you. Once your money is in your bank account or on your phone, your mobile money account, you can just go to Tamale or Accra from Wa and, and all the merchants, you, you have the opportunity to pay using your QR code. So the arm robbers, uh, well, this is bad news for arm robbers. <laughs> <laughs> Very bad news for arm robbers because the, 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 the cash will not be there uh, and, and we will have transparency and so on. So I'm very happy. Let's, let's see how it works with Antimony. And I've not had breakfast yet, so <laughs> I, 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 I know Antimony will give us some. <laughs> what is that? Social distance. Have a smartphone, you can scan it. In the absence of a smartphone as well, you can use the, uh, the number, the terminal ID here. Uh, equally, you can use the That's right. So you, if you don't pay, don't give you your watch. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Antimony, <laughs> let me have some watch with uh, some willy and uh, some egg. Uh, do you have talia? Yes, and whatever you do, you add one for the Minister for Communication. Thank you. <laughs> so uh, we, we, we see how, how it works. <laughs> you know. Somehow it's more delicious in the Hawaii. It's, uh, yeah, it's more delicious. Wonderful. So now, now I'm going to try to use the QR code, right? It's, it's, it's scanned already, right? Or should I redo? 
Yes, no, you can no. go back just so they can see. Okay, so we're about to do, do this again. So this is it. It's so fast. It's done already. It's done already. So the rest we paid you twice. No, we haven't paid. Oh, okay. We haven't confirmed. Mm-hmm. That is so good. 60. Ah, okay. Yes. Then, then I'll confirm payment. Yes. Interesting. Okay, fifty bottles. Okay. Yeah. So that's it. Done. Until money checks and see if you have yeah, if you have payment. <laughs> She has to enter her, her phone. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I can mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. do the Can I do the So she has to payment because the message is confidential. The media cannot Yes. So she's, it has credited her account with 60 Ghana and it's lodged in. And it's lodged directly in her account. She doesn't have to keep the cash here for somebody to make it missing. Right? So it's very, very, very good. <laughs> so that is it. <laughs> you, want, you want that? So, oh, okay, let me go into my. It's okay. Life away. Take care. Take Just scan and pay. Yeah, do, do, do you, have you gotten it? As soon as he shows you that scan, it goes it's, 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 it's so quick. Okay. It's okay. As soon as he shows you that, it will, it will, it will pick it. Yeah? Or okay. oh, you want me to show it? Yeah, yeah, show it. Show it. Okay. Give it to me. Yeah, that's it. It's scanned. <laughs> it's already yeah. scanned. Scan. Yeah. It's scanned. Okay. So the her information will appear. Merchant name and Timothy Wache is right there, so yeah. you see it and confirm that that's who that's you are paying to. Mm. Better pick. So mm. it's, it's, it's sharp. Sharp and convenient. Yes. Real time. Real time. Real time. Real time. Real time. Real time. <laughs> okay, so let me take a picture with Absa Fidelity and GCB. And with Antimony. <laughs> Yes, two of them. Excuse me, madam. Tell it fast, fast, fast. Okay. You got it. Okay. Okay. Honorable. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes. Bank. Yes. Let me go back. Let me go back. Let's 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 go back. Hey, hello. Fidelity. Yes, sir. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Okay. Okay. Absa. 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 Okay. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Okay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> the, the angel room. Yes. 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 Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well done. Naifa, are you okay? Yes, sir. Thank you very much.